It took a while for it to happen, but it finally did, in fact, happen. More Convo magic in the CBI, and the Cats are off to the semifinals after a 72-67 win over UNC Greensboro on Monday night. Hi, everybody. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Rob Cornelius joins me. Welcome to our broadcast position at the Roundhouse on Richland, where Ohio trailed by six at halftime, trailed by double digits midway through the second half, and then a 25-5 run to close and paint it. Green and white? Yeah, huge run down the stretch for Ohio. At the under eight timeout, or the under eight called timeout, Ohio was down 15 points. From that point, they absolutely dominated this game, led by Jerron Simmons. Yeah, Jerron really strapped the Cats to his back, and Ohio rode him to the finish again. 19 points for him, just a couple of dimes shy of a double double, but he really helped raise Ohio's level down the stretch. Yeah, 19 and 8, and Assault keeps saying he got going downhill, got to the line, got to the position where he could get to the basket, and then and pitch out to the other players. Ohio finally made a few threes down the stretch, including one a short, short clock by Jordan Dardis to put Ohio right into the lead. He hit one against Buffalo that was big, and this banger was certainly a bullseye from Jordy. Get it, Dardis, bullseye? Yep. Makes sense, like like lawn jarts, but no, he hit Just it. Just so was, natural. Yeah. yeah, it was a good thing. Crowded field, crowded side of the floor, time running out. He was cool. It worked. And Antonio Campbell didn't have his best game which is amazing to say because his stat line is jam-packed. Yeah, guy goes 17, 19, plays 33 plus minutes, but it never felt like he was dominating this game. Then you look at the line at the end of this thing, and he's got a million points, million boards, but he was off his game, missed his threes, his really wasn't cool. They were doubling him, they were pushing him away from the basket, didn't get a hook down until very late in this one. Ohio dominated a great deal of the stat sheet, the sidebar stats, rebounding, even defending yep. overall shots very well. But the one thing, again, was UNCG hit 10 threes, and that kept them hanging around. And to their credit, they had some pressure shots to keep the lead for a long time. Yep, Ohio gave a bunch of first-half threes to these guys, the visiting Spartans, and didn't hit their threes in the, until the end. But Ohio found a way to win in a game in which they only make five threes, only shoot 25% from the arc, but Ohio overcame. Win number 23 on the year, postseason win number 17 in program history. There will be a 35th game at the very least for Ohio this season. Here's how it looked and sounded in front of a cloud of nearly 4,000 at the Roundhouse on Richland. It's the last time out in the start of the ball game. Simmons behind the back dribble, runs down the lane to the goal, banked it up and in. Smith threw it to the back logo, was picked away by Ohio, now it's Simmons. Bounce into the post to Setti, left hand layup, low on the left, and he spun it in there. Media timeout coming up, 17 to shoot. Simmons to the right pocket, Setti open for three, and he bangs it down. Simmons to Setti, right pocket. Lost the ball, picked it back up. His defender fell down, lobs to Campbell, who laid it in. Now it's Baldwin high on the right. He is their fourth leading scorer with 11.5. Now baseline right, working his way in. It is White, left-hand hook, got it. Baldwin, right of the paint, lost the dribble. He's on the angle, throws it into the post. Gavin Block, who checked in at that media timeout, stripped the ball away with his left hand. Kaminsky crosses over, left of the paint, runs in deep, banking, spinning shot, yes, around the world twice. Smith Jr. gets the ball, throws it left side, gets it left sideline, throws up a three and got it. Dart is high on the left, now to block at the top, pop to the foul line, Setti, nearly at the ball strip, got to get rid of it, back door to Kyrie Harley, who stuffed it home. Left side, it's Alonzo, into the post now quickly for a layup that's good by R.J. White. Locke sends it along now, middle of the floor, it's Baldwin, now to Smith on the right wing for three, and he buried it, and Ohio's down nine. Spartans into the front court now, at the top it is Troy, over to the right sideline, it's Baldwin. He from Greensboro shoots for three and buried it. Simmons high on the right. Now to Kaminsky, point left for three. Back iron, no good. Said he fought for the rebound, got it. Goes back up, laid it in. Put it in the foul. Traeger do the dirty work. He doesn't want this to be his last ball game of the convo. Ohio down eight, 31-23, 4.54 to go for the first half. Now into the post. Catching there, it is White. A little deeper into the post. Shot blocked away. Campbell swiped that out from Smith. A little too casual. Lock now to Smith, point right three on the way, got it, and UNCG is running things tonight. Up 10, 34-24. Game clock's at 37, a shot clock at 25. Simmons right of the paint, hangs in the air, banked it in, a little levitation and a kiss. With the right and the left hand, behind his screen, throws over the left side, Dardis, ball fake, steps in, low block left to the goal, glides in there and kisses it in. A high kiss off of that clear pain. 
down through the white net, and Ohio down two, 38-34, and Ohio wasn't packed defensively, and the Spartans just ran down the floor. Baldwin laid it in, right hand, left side, 40-34, to Ohio down by six. High on the left, up to the top. On a bounce now to Tony, threw it over to the right wing, Kaminsky for three, bang for Kenny. Here comes Baldwin, breaks it low block right to the rim, layup, sat on the front iron and fell down. Now Locke back to Troy at the top, turns the corner, throws right corner. It's a three for Smith Jr. and he buried it. Who runs high on the right, skips as he dribbles, spun, ran over a defender. Six straight for Ohio. Troy, handoff now to the top. It's Lamont into the post now. It's White, flipped it in, counted in a foul. So the Spartans have it. Running into the front court, it's Troy. Beat everybody to the rim and he laid it in. Ohio has been a no-show defensively too many times tonight. Pulls to the foul line, jump past Baldwin, left wing, doesn't fire. Shot clock at four and three. Now at two, fires up a three and got it, and Ohio's in deep trouble. Down 10, 55 to 45. Out high, it is Troy. He's open, he's shooting, and he banged down a three, and Ohio is in a heap of trouble at home. Down 11, 58 to 47. High on the right wing, it's Troy. Drives, now a shoot from 17 and score. Into the post now is White. Back to the bucket, works his way in on Campbell. Bodies with him, ball strip. Simmons puts it up. Ohio three on three into the front court. Jerron goes to the goal, layup, yes. Peels back and works to the right. Got up in the air, throws to Seti, right pocket. Drives on the baseline, hands it off to Tone, who rocks that rim with two hands. There's a Mac play of the year type play. Timeout, UNCG. They couldn't wait for the media. 6-10 to go. Ohio down nine, 62 to 53. High in the right wing, it's Simmons. Right of the paint, peels back to the foul line. Trying to get into the post, does to Campbell. Low block right, turns, right hand hook. Settled on that iron, got a little kiss off the glass and fell down through. Simmons high on the left, behind a Campbell screen. To the foul line, beneath the line. Cheer drop of the right hand, he got it. Picked up by Setti, here's Simmons left wing. Straight on for three, bang! 64-62, 3 to go. Time to get loud here at the convo. Simmons behind a hard screen from Campbell. Free space on the right side. Throws up to the top. Jordy for three. Bang! Baldwin at the top. How are they going to handle this loud house? Baldwin high on the left wing with a right hand dribble. Crosses over, goes to the foul line. Jump pass over to the right corner. Three on the way for Lockett. He buried it. Apparently they handle it pretty well. Now to Dart is high on the right with six to shoot. Now with five dribbles. He's covered. He fires up a three. Bang! Over to the right side, Baldwin tees up a three, missed it. Rebound, Campbell, ball game, Ohio wins! Ohio wins! Ohio wins! Ohio wins! Combo magic in the CBI, and the Cats are on to the semis. So at time of taping, we believe that the next opponent on Wednesday night will be Moorhead State coming to Athens. Now, I guess things can change. We do know that Ohio will host a game in the semifinals. It's a re-bracketed tournament now, but we've heard that it could be Moorhead State. So we'll talk about the Eagles. Scott Woods, former Kentucky player, head coach at Moorhead. They have over 20 wins this year. Beat Duquesne in the second round of the CBI on Monday night in Kentucky. They are number four in the OVC, sure. and they are a scrappy ball club. Yeah, no, they've been solid this year, played in a good league. We've seen Tennessee State from that league who finished in the top half of that thing. Not an easy out, obviously. 20 wins, they were bored with you, and they were able to handle Duquesne tonight, a team who plays with a lot of pace. For Rob C., and for everybody with Bobcat TV, I'm Russ Eisenstein. This is Bobcat TV.